My son is 13 years old. He was born in September of 2002 at the J.D. Weiler Hospital in the Bronx. And I was, I, I had a horrible, very horrible experience because I, um, I spent 48 hours in delivery. So um, when finally they decided to cut me open because I had to have a C-section to pull out the baby and um, the next day the nurse comes to me, I mean imagine, three days, beat up, and the nurse comes to me and tells me, oh, you need to sign the circumcision papers. And I said, no. What do you mean, no, you're not doing a circumcision, she said. I said, no, I'm not. Well, what's going to happen when he's older, and let's say he gets Alzheimer's and he forgets to pull back the skin to clean it up, he's going to get an infection. You're going to, you know, he's going to get a venereal disease. And I said, well, We'll cross the bridge when he, we get there. Um, in my culture, we don't have a tendency to mutilate newborns. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. And then she back off. She only asked you one time? She took, well, twice, twice. She said, what do you mean you're not doing it? I guess it was expected that because I was giving birth there, I was gonna go through with the mutilation. That's what it is. Did you use the word mutilation when you spoke yes, with Yes, I her? did. I did. Of course I did. Had you thought about, did you know you were going to have a boy? Yes, I did. So you did know you were going to have a boy first? Yeah. yeah. All the hospitals push it. Oh. Did you know that? I didn't know that, yeah. but, you know, it's nice to know. I'll, I'll educate my own child. I mean, it's one thing for an adult to make a decision to have a circumcision for health reasons, but as a mother, I feel like I was, it, it just felt horrible. I wouldn't mutilate my baby. No. That's his decision to make. Had you talked to your family about it? Did you ever talk to anybody about it before he was born? Uh, no, not really. I mean, it's not something that we do in the Dominican Republic. I mean, you know, you, you bathe in the river when you're little and, you know, everybody's naked. You don't, as, you know, two, three years old, I never saw anybody circumcised, ever. You know, my nephews, you give them a bath, nobody was ever circumcised, you know, my cousins. Have you told your son the story about them trying to circumcise him? <laughs> no. No. No, not yet. Not yet. But I'll, I'll have a chat with him because if... Has he ever mentioned to you being intact or questioned it or asked you anything about it? Not at all, actually. No. You know, that was my experience, too. People kept saying to me, like, well, what did you tell your son? I said, I told him nothing. I didn't tell him anything. <laughs> yeah, it it was just normal. Yeah. We just treated him like he was normal. I mean, it, he, he is never normal. Even, he never even came up. He right? is normal. I do, um, I, you know, once I stopped bathing him, I did tell him, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta pull back the skin and, and you know, clean yourself every day. And, uh, you know, when I was training him to take a shower on his own, I said, did you check your parts? And sometimes it would run back to the bathroom and, you know, at the beginning, and I guess bathe himself again, but um, no, no, I would not mutilate my newborn. Has anybody ever asked for your advice, anyone in your family or anybody at work, any co-workers talked to you about circumcision? Uh, yes, other, other uh, people from my same culture, they don't, and some Italian friends, they feel like you're taking away the virginity of the baby if you um, actually go ahead with circumcision. It's, it's something very barbaric to me. Any co-workers talk to you about it? Yes, some of my co-workers actually. Um, one of them is, is going to come up and, and talk with you later. Mm -hmm. And what do, they, what do they ask? Are some of them trying to decide what to do? Or are they conflicted? Um, they usually say that they will go by the father's decisions. So, um, you know, when somebody has told me about it, but... What do you think about that? What do you think about going by the father's decision? Mm, I guess it depends on how the relationship is. I mean, I, I again, I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow my son <laughs> to do it to his kid. To what? To do it to his kid. Right. I, I would voice my opinion, definitely. So you expect that if you have grandchildren, they won't be circumcised? And that's my expectation. <laughs> right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Do you have anything else that you want to say about it or about 
Um, if you have any observations about what the work that we're doing about in Tech America, about the material we've shared, anything at all about uh, the cause of not circumcising children? Well, we know that it's a costly procedure. We know that, um, you know, is unnecessary at that point. Um, I feel that um, circumcision is the same as, you know, when genitalia is removed from females in Africa. It's, you know, I compare it to that, and I would just never um, advocate for anybody to go through with a procedure that mutilates a genital from a child. I would definitely, you know, advocate for that, and I do. Do you tell people if they, do you ever discuss it with your friends? Do you ever talk about it? Um, not really. I mean, if a, cha if, a, if a woman is pregnant, you know, I have a famous saying, now you're going to know if, if, if they're having a boy, and now you're going to know what truly loving a man is about. <laughs> and, um, you know, tell them, you know, you don't have to do some of the procedures that are suggested at the hospital. You know, they might ask you to circumcise. I think you should look into it and, and look at the actual procedure to see what it is that is being done to your newborn baby that, you know, just came to the world. I mean, it's, it's a very cold and painful way to welcome the child. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I can imagine the pain they go through when they pee. Right. Afterwards. Oh, yeah. No. Mm -mm. I mean, they already have the umbilical cord to heal. Why would you expose them to more, more pain? It's just not natural to me. You know, I respect everybody's um, opinion, but I would definitely advocate all the time for not going through a circumcision. When you say you respect everybody's opinion, if somebody told you, well, it's my opinion that it's better, I would, would give them say? some materials. I would definitely give them some materials to read. I would definitely point them to um, YouTube videos, <laughs> you know. Of the procedure. Oh, yeah. But, um, you know, and even show them um, Google is fabulous because you can just see images, you know, and, and the things you see there are very shocking. So, you know, I definitely show them, oh, you know, do you really want to do this to your baby? And, but, um, you know, I know that culturally, you know, it's, it's different for everybody. I personally feel that if it's not um, part of one's culture, it shouldn't even be pushed on it. I felt very, very bad when that nurse, you know, just told me to oh, come and sign this paper and for the circumcision. Why, why, why are you assuming that I'm going to circumcise my child? Does that make sense? You don't know where I come from. Obviously, you didn't even read the chart to realize I'm Dominican and that that is not a custom of ours. And, you know, for you to give me an example so extreme, I mean, when he's 90 years old, okay, I may not be around, <laughs> you know. But, um, I mean, what is the likelihood of that happening? And if it does, I mean, at that point, it's a different decision to make. So and like the least of his I'm sure that, yeah, there's going to be the least of his problems. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, it's, it's really up to him now. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome.